you know, take our, our travels to Northwestern. It's always a difficult place to play. Um, any, any team on the road is tough in the Big Ten, but certainly playing at Northwestern and the style they play. Um, they can play a man in, they can play a zone, and they do a lot of the make-miss concepts, so it tries to keep you out of a flow. And, um, you know, I, I think their, their big three were, were challenging to defend with their four, their five, and then their three man is a kid that can post a little bit too um, and make you play backwards. So, you know, I, I thought our kids responded really well, and we had a great second half. So, questions? It seems like recently the team has gotten into a thing where they can take a team's best punch and, and give a, a knockout blow right after that. Do you think that potentially all the, the stuff you guys went through earlier in the year has helped you guys with that and that you've maybe sort of found your stretch right now, found your rhythm? Well, I think, you know, we're having a little consistency out of players and, and that's probably what you're talking about. I think before when we, you know, went to throw the punch, we weren't sure who was going to throw it. And now we have a little more consistency in, in the performance of kids. and. Um, it's, I think that's helped us definitely be able to put our best foot forward when things kind of don't go our way to, to get some leadership out there and, and to know where it's coming from and who's going to take those shots and, and what kind of, um, you know, just I, I even think Kiana's kind of back to her little bit of her resurgence as a leader out there has helped us as well. You know, besides the fact that, you know, Porsche, I think, has been a, a go-to guy and LeKendra's doing well and Taylor's playing her role and KB's obviously, you know, really, really helped us here down the stretch. So, you know, I, to answer your question, I think, yeah, probably some of those trials and tribulations where we didn't know who it was going to be have kind of put us to a point where now we have a little bit better concept of our team and who's going to step up. You, you look at the past few years, and Indiana's kind of given you fits at times. Um, can you break down that matchup? Obviously, Felicia makes that no secret how big a game it is for her. And just break down the bracket itself, I guess, as, mm -hmm. as to what you're thinking about it. Well, I mean, it's, it's obviously a difficult game. I think they do a lot really well. I think they've got he, he, tremendous size and athleticism in the post, and they've got five of them. So they keep coming at you. It's, you know, it's not like you, know, you can get any one kid out of the mix. You know, it just seems like there's another one just like her coming in. So I think they've got great athleticism and size in there. Um, and then you know, I think they, they lost McGee, uh, who was their, one of their top scorers. And, but I think at, um, 24, I'm having a brain fade, sorry. Sinclair, thank you. Um, she's, you know, really stepping up. I mean, so much so that Wisconsin played her a box and one at their place. I mean, she's really scoring the ball and taking on that role and has a quick release and can score a lot of different ways. Um, I think their point guard play is really elevated. I think Neubauer and then um, Candace Usury that comes in for them, they've actually been playing them together quite a bit as a combination. So, you know, they're a team that really can, they're like a chameleon. They can just kind of figure out what, uh, you know, what's working for them and go to that. They can run five out stuff. They can power post you. They can play his own. They can play your man. They can pressure you. So they're a unique scout in a lot of ways. Um, and, you know, we know it's going to be a challenge and, and we know what's at stake, certainly. Could you comment on the, the play of Bill? You talk about consistency. She's mm -hmm. 17 points on one day, takes only four shots the next. I know. You want to talk to her? I'd love to. <laughs> you know what? The one thing she has been consistent at, though, is her defensive effort. So um, Jim informed me that we won the defensive um, scoring crown again this year. So that's important to me. As you know, we like to play defense. So that's three years in a row. But um, I, I guess that part of her game has, has really impressed me and has helped spark us, quite honestly. We're putting her on Morgan Jones or, you know, the best player. She'll, she'll probably guard Sinclair. So, I mean, I, I think if there's some frustration there, I, I, don't, I don't feel that way at all. Um, you know, I, I just we need to keep her aggressive, though. You know, she, she's someone that I think can score the ball in a lot of different ways. And I'm not sure why in one game she's, you know, really out of the gate strong, and in other games she just kind of takes a back seat. But I will say this. Um, I thought Porsche was really scoring the ball well, and they were playing a zone. Um, and I thought Clarissa passed the ball. She had five assists, I believe, in that game and made some great decisions. So if she wasn't responsible for scoring the ball, she was responsible for getting somebody else the ball that did score it. So I think she's playing a good team concept. So, you know, sometimes it's her night where we need her to score and they're not 
maybe is focused on on her as they are on Porsche, and other nights it'll be the other way around. So as long as she keeps playing defense and rebounding, I'm okay. I'm okay. How do you feel about uh, kind of a two-parter here about playing potentially what you hope is four games in four days, and do you feel this team has kind of found itself to where they're ready for tournament time? I think so, Fred. I do. I think uh, I think this team is. Um, you know, we, we got a little fight and fire to us. We've got a little bit better in the rotation as to terms of who's going to play. Um, you know, I, th I think we have some mental toughness there, which is what you need down the stretch. Um, you know, we said we had to win four games, and I, we they put their minds to it and kind of did that. Um, and now you're in a situation where you got to win four more games. So I do think we're we're ready for the challenge, and I do think we found ourselves in that fight and that fire. And um, I think they're a pretty determined group. When you have four games in four days, do you go ahead and how's the preparation like for that when you when you have that many teams back to back to back? And do you, with Purdue, knowing that is a team you would for sure play uh, if you won, do you start preparing for them now? No, I think that's where you get in the danger zone a little bit. I've always been a coach that doesn't worry about the next day. I just worry about the day in front of me. And right now it's really all about Indiana and what we can do to put ourselves in position to, to make sure we win that game. Um, I don't think you can get ahead of yourself. And I, I think in this league, everybody knows everybody so well now, you know. Um, and we've played Purdue, obviously, recently, and, and we played Penn State as well So in our bracket. So, you know, depending on what happens, really the most important game is your Indiana game, and you can't worry about preparing for Purdue because you're never going to get there if you don't beat Indiana. So I just really focus on the game in front of us, and whatever happens, happens. Susie, if you can just, right here in the back, if you can just touch on the consistency of your program now over the last four years, finishing second or better each year in the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's a nice recruiting tool for sure when you're out there pounding the streets and trying to get the best players to, to come here. Um, I, I think it, you know, it says a lot about, um, you know, some of the kids that we have certainly in their resolve and their determination. I think the one thing that has helped us do that, though, is the defensive side of the ball. I don't think there's a secret there. Um, I think you win when you play defense. I mean, our men are a great example of that. I mean, they're just, they're locking people down. And um, it's fun to watch that energy and that toughness. And so our, our teams have been really good defensively and rebounding the ball extremely well, too. I think those are the two staples that we've kind of set as uh, an important um, backbone of our success. And that's the reason why I think we've either been in first place or second place in the last four years. You said yesterday you, you plan on going down to Indy to take things out of the committee's hands. Do you feel if, this, if, if it ended it right now and the bids were coming out tomorrow or tonight, do you feel like you guys have done enough to get in? I do. I really do. I mean, but you don't know. I've been there before. I think you know that. So we're not going to we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to worry about the challenge in front of us. Um, you know, it just you just don't want to take anything for granted for sure. So I think going down there and performing well is important for us. You've talked a lot about Porsche's evolution as a player throughout the year. It seems like the last four games or so, teams have really centered their defense around stopping her, and she's had a lot more assists, and, and it seems like it's sort of a new uh, evolvement for her. Can you talk a little bit about that so she's not – I mean, because there was a point earlier in the year where she was going to force up shots no matter what, and now she's sort of really reading the defense and reading the floor. Yeah, I think – you know, that's the one thing about Porsche, though, is, is her game is different than a lot of people in that, yeah, she can score the ball. But I, I said it on senior night, she has one of the highest IQs, basketball IQs I've coached. She gets it. She knows where the weak side came from and who's open. You know, when she's rail driving right, she knows where the help is and s sagging in on the left, and she sets up a lot of shooters on the back side. Um, so I think her IQ for the game has really, you know, is something that, that she uses to her advantage. Um, you know, I, I guess I've never seen her as someone that's forced of shots, or maybe, but maybe taking some bad shots here or there. I agree with you there. But I do think she's one of our best playmakers. You know, she's like almost having another point guard in the quarter court. I think she's really, really good in transition. That's probably where she puts the you know, the pedal to the metal a little bit and gets after it. But I do think in the quarter court she has a high IQ and understanding what's going on around her and sets other people up, which has been helpful to our success.